I don't want to be a party to fraud. The, the legal name that we carry, Santo Bonacci, is a legal name which is Crown Property. It is intellectual property which does not belong to me. I stress this every time with the sheriffs and the policemen. I do not want to be a party to fraud. I have a common law name, I'm commonly known as Santo Bonacci, but the legal system, due to our birth certificates, which are Vatican Roman Curia owned, is a slavery system. We have an estate, we have a Sestwi uh, KV estate connected to our birth certificates, and everything is prepaid. Tell that to your pensioner friends. Everything is prepaid. All of our um, uh, utilities are already prepaid. The utility companies are fraudulent. Make it, how many pensioners go to the post office to pay with that little stub? Next time you get a utility bill, try this. Ring the company and say, send me a true bill and I'll settle the true bill. Because they only sell, send statements in the mail. Because they're only allowed to send statements. Because they've already been paid and they're double dipping. And this is why we are perpetuating the national debt. Every time you pay with fiat currency, anything, you are, you are compounding the national debt, guys. Do not be a party to fraud. Everything I did was um, separate from fraud. Everything. What were the fines for? Just traffic fines. Was it toll rates? I imagine so. I don't know because I don't, I don't get their mail. I throw it in the bin. So, I wasn't refusing. I wasn't refusing. I, we will settle it, yes. We will discharge the debt. You don't pay. If you pay with reserve notes, that's a private, it's a private bank. The reserve bank is a private bank. If you pay anything with reserve notes, you are compounding the national debt. You pay by discharging it. You, you did, well, I was going to instruct the judge today to be the trustee because the sheriffs um, are committing fraud by trying to make me the trustee. This is why young men and women are going to jail because they are being forced under duress to be the trustee. The state is the trustee of our trusts. Every time you go to court, three parties turn up. The trustee, which is the judge, and the clerk, the executive officer, which is the prosecution, and the beneficiary. We are the beneficiaries of our trust. We should take control of those trusts and authorise the authorised party, which is the judge, to discharge the debt. How? With a signature. What if they don't accept that? What if you, it's what, fraud. What if you it's jail? fraud. We need to awaken all Australians to this fraud that is going on. And we will be out of debt. And we will have a beautiful country to live in. The whole world. I won't be going to jail. That is an option that the prosecution can afford. That's how they scare you, and they scare a lot of young men to go into jail. Some men and women in their teens, early teens, are going in because they've um, smoked uh, perhaps uh, uh, cannabis, which is God-given plant, and it has our DNA in it. How they get kids into jail is because they call it marijuana. Marijuana is a legal term. Cannabis and hemp is a lawful term. You can have it as much as you want, and they cannot touch you. The Rockefellers did this in the 40s to uh, stop the hemp production, and they named it marijuana, made it a legal term, so that they could slam kids into jail and make money from their bonds. Our birth certificate, the banksters pay $6 million from the hospitals for our birth certificates. By the time you retire, it generates $6 billion for the pedophile Rockefellers and Rothschilds who own the system in cahoots with the Vatican. Is it fair that you don't pay tolls and everyone else does? It's, it's fair that our trust is already set up to pay it. Everything is and everyone, prepaid. Everyone that rides on a, you know, everyone that goes on a road that, that is pay, not paid for by the government um, pays for the toll. Why, why won't you? Those, those the roads and everything are built by we the people. We own them, you see. So we, to travel, when I get in a car, I don't drive because that's a legal term. I travel. We are sovereigns. We are free to travel. No one can tell you that you can't travel in the universe. 
By, by and there, there are some rules and regulations in society that you just have to follow for it to be working Yes, the public order. servants are obliged to follow those. The policemen, not we the people. We are sovereigns. If so we only know that. you're exempt from paying tollways? Only the public. If I am paid by the public, I must follow their codes and regulations. It's not law. Legality, legal and law are two different things. There's only one law in the universe. Do not cause harm. Do not injure and fulfil your contracts. That's the law. That's the true law. The rest is just codes and enactments and uh, statutes and bylaws. And they all, anyone who is paid by the government, is obliged to fulfil those codes. I'm not. I, there's no evidence that I've been ever paid by the government. What's happened to your car? Which car? Did you have a car that you were initially clocking up these $132,000 worth of fines? <laughs> well, well um, <laughs> the cops came um, the day after the sheriff called and took my sovereign number plates off and brought them into the Dan Long station. And they said, if you want them, you can come and get them. But the next day, I sold it for $250 to the wreckers because it was a heap. <laughs> <laughs> Does that mean you won't be clocking up any more toll fines? <laughs> That's a, a question that I uh, couldn't really answer at this stage. <laughs> yeah. uh, well done. Okay. What, what, what do you say is going to be the likely the likely, out, the likely outcome of all this is hopefully that people will get enlightened about what's going on. I will not be a party to fraud. The moment I say I am Santo Bonacci, the legal entity, I am using intellectual property which does not belong to me. The moment you show a police officer your license, which means you have now licentious um, behaviour, because that's what the license is short for, for you to do what is otherwise lawful. That's why you need a license, because it is lawful to travel. Who's going to tell me that I can't go from A to B? No one in the universe. By enclosure, by a law called, or a legal term called enclosure, they have enclosed the roadways, and anyone, this goes back to Roman days when they were building those roads, uh, pilgrims and, and free people could use the Roman roads for free. But if they were doing commerce on those roads, they had to pay. So if you're doing commerce, yeah, and besides, we don't have a government. Friends, we do not have a government. It's all corporate owned. There's a difference between a policeman and a woman who serves to protect, who swore to serve and protect, and another creature called a police officer. They serve for profit. And who sends them to get those little um, uh, promissory notes and negotiable instruments? The banksters. The banksters are cornered. The writing's on the wall, and this is why they are driving the, 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 the commanders and, and the sergeants of these police stations to go out and get more revenue, more revenue, more revenue. How many young boys did I um, uh, stay with in the cells here that were coming and going that are in there for legalities? They didn't break the law. They might have had you know, a pot of uh, marijuana. Well, that's just an exercise in photosynthesis. There's photosynthesis happening all around us. Marijuana is God's hemp. plant, last time I checked. Oh, well, I should say hemp. Traffic offences. 130,000. I don't know how that happened because uh, I think it must be um, compounding interest or something like that. I never drive, I only travel. Driving is a legal term and it will get you into trouble. Yeah, journeying or travelling. So you were arrested and taken into custody and you say that it's unlawful? Absolutely unlawful. Well, in a civil matter, one must not be, force must not be used. They used force, they kidnapped me, they assaulted me. I've got it on camera. Trespass, it's a civil matter. And they lie because they said that I refused. They used the word refuse, refuse, refuse. I, cons I conditionally consented upon proof of claim. If they can come and show a signed lawful contract with um, equal consideration, full disclosure, and lawful terms and conditions that I signed with Vic Roads, then they've got a case.
on April 3rd, come April 1st, they've got no case. Because I did say to the judge, I conditionally accept their claim upon proof of cause. They have no cause. There's no contract. So what would the outcome of the hearing on April Well, the outcome is I've uh, got bail. And by the way, guys, when you sign any bail, V dot C and then sign. That means via and coactus under duress. This means nothing. It's, I've, it's disqualified. It's, it's, I cancelled it by V dot C. Always sign anything legal with V dot C. And if there was space under here, I would have put all rights reserved. If you maintain your common law rights and you waive their privileges, services and benefits, because that's all the gut the state offers you, and a benefit is you get to go to jail. That's a benefit. You must maintain, reserve your rights. I don't need to. The damage has been done. I've already exposed Emiliano Mandarino. I gave him three years. I filmed him three years ago when he was committing this fraud, and I gave him a chance. I sat on that video and I thought, if he changes, I will not post that video. But I posted that video. I knew he would come for me because he's a vicious little animal. And um, he'll get his just desserts. What goes around comes around in about a hundred times heavier. He's the police officer who is causing members of my family a lot of trouble because he's, he is milking their bonds. We all have a bond. Our birth certificate is a securitized bond. We are stock and bonds on the stock market run by the Vatican. Vatican's going down, guys. Check out my work on YouTube, Syncretism. Santos Bonacci on YouTube, Syncretism. And please enlighten yourselves. We must bring this fraud down by consciousness, by love and exposure. Because we are run, this world is run and controlled by psychopaths. And most of them are pedophiles. And you, you wonder where your little kids are disappearing to? You're, you're wondering where the little kids are disappearing to? Friends, they are disappearing to the most powerful people on this planet. They are psychopaths. Right, thank you so much. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks, man. I know, I know, but these people are all in love. Yeah. 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 They said there were a lot of good exposure. It's all right. If you get it wrong, we got it right. It'll be on YouTube, the full thing. So if you want to chop it up and use it how you want to, if you want to chop it up and use it how you want to, we'll be reporting it properly. Real Australian News will have it.